I just realized how much money I've been wasting on groceries. It wasn't until I put it to this test that I realized how much money I've truly been wasting and it sent me down a rabbit hole and now I gotta, I, I need to info dump, I'm so sorry. Let's start at the beginning. Germany, 1946, and no, it's not going in the direction you think it's going. I know, weird time, weird place. There's a corner store, it's named Albrecht's and the old man who owns it, he gets sick and so his two sons take it over. Theo and Carl, when they were little, they pushed a little wagon and they sold buns to the people of Germany and uh, so they felt qualified to run this store. It's a simple grocery store. It sells like milk, eggs, candy, little metal pins with eagles on them. Just kidding, just kidding. They didn't, they didn't do that. The boys were conscripted. They didn't volunteer to join the Axis. So like seven years goes by, it's 1953. The guys are doing well. They own like 30 stores. They realize it's time to expand. They take the first two letters of Albrecht and the first two letters of Direct and they hyphen it to make... It's Aldi. In 1960, Carl and Theo got an argument over whether they should sell cigarettes or not at their store. And much like a high school garage band arguing over cigarettes, 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 they broke up. They split into two divisions, Aldi Nord, North, and Aldi Sud, South. So in 1976, Carl gets this idea, we're gonna do business with the Americans, and so he sets up Aldi in America. But then his brother, Theo, he gets this other idea that he wants to do business with America, but because Aldi is already taken, Theo, being a business guy, changes the name to Trader Joe's. That might sound familiar, yeah? Well, there you go, there's your little history lesson, and that brings us to Aldi today. But what is Aldi, and why is it so cheap, and how cheap is it? I, 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 I gotta tell you, I am not sponsored by Aldi's. Listen to me, I am not sponsored by Aldi's. I spent my own money on this. Aldi is a large chain of small grocery stores. I'm gonna get over here. <laughs> and they use a lot of interesting tactics to keep their prices low. Such as <clears throat> using their own brand for just about every product. Keeping their products in the warehouse packaging on shelves. Not providing bags to customers. Locally sourcing produce and meats. And quarters on the cards. If you've ever gone to an Aldi's or you know anything about Aldi's, you have to put a quarter in this little slot to get your cart out. It's so popular, in fact, that some people 3D print their own quarters just to put in the Aldi carts. I am some people. I've 3D printed my own thing. And if you want, you can buy in my TikTok shop. And that just keeps them from having to pay an employee just to put carts back, which then trickles the savings down to you. Side note, I did do some research on how they do treat their employees, and it's a very mixed bag. It sounds like a lot of hard work, very fast paced, but really good benefits and decent pay. Oh, the other thing, I, I, I promise you, I'm not being paid to say this, but they have some like quality of life improvements when you shop there. Most of their packages have more than one barcode on it. Why? Because it's just easier to scan. Then there's this thing called the double guarantee, which is if you have a problem with anything, they will not only replace it, but refund you the money. So you get a new product and your money back, which is like a bold claim. And of course, anybody who's been to an Aldi know the one thing I'm not talking about, the aisle. Aldi has this one aisle that rotates random objects weekly. And they have everything from steering wheel covers to rain boots to pottery. So you're wondering, how does this all apply to me? Well, how cheap is Aldi? Let me show you. I bought the same three ingredients from three different grocery stores. Here are the price differences between those three things. If you're in the Midwest, prepare for heartbreak because Meyer was the most expensive at $10.62 for these ingredients. Coming in second, we've got Walmart. Obviously everybody knows Walmart, $9.91. Here's the thing. Aldi comes in at $9.25, and we got more ground beef than any of the other places. And I know what you're thinking, Rob, how does it taste? Okay, you can't tell us that it's cheaper. If it tastes like garbage, we're not gonna buy it. Well, I guess what? I bought all three so that I can do a taste test. So let's do that. Good burger, good burger. It's a good burger. Aldi came in 9.75% cheaper than the average of the competitors. If you spend $1,000 on groceries, you will walk away with $100 that you would have spent otherwise. In other words, that's this many goldfish you could have swimming around in a bathtub. Think of how cool that would be. What did we learn? All of them basically tasted the same and one cost significantly less. And what am I gonna do with all this mustard? Well, I might do a tie-in episode where I carbonate it. Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for listening to my info dump.